Over 49,000 soldiers from the Royal Artillery were killed in the First World War. At the poppy factory in Richmond, I made a remembrance wreath for one of the fallen. I've got all the pieces, I've got the base with the cat badge, let's do this. Next stop, Poperinga Military Cemetery, Belgium, to place it on Gunnar Manley's grave. But who was he? Douglas Roy Manley was born in Porus, Manchester, Jamaica in 1895. After his parents' death, Roy moved to England with his brother Norman. From 1911 to 1914, Roy boarded at Felsted Public School in Essex. He was a great sportsman and excelled in running and cricket. Norman Washington Manley was Roy's eldest brother. In 1914, Norman won the prestigious Rhodes Scholarship, enabling him to study law at Oxford University. August the 4th, 1914, Britain declares war. A year later, Roy left his last known residence in London and headed off to Deptford, South East London, to join the Royal Field Artillery with his brother Norman. It's likely the Manley brothers began their basic training at the Thames Ironworks and Shipbuilding Company before marching off to Aldershot to join the brigade. Gunnar Roy Manley was killed in action on the 26th of July 1917 on the Western Front. He was serving with D Battery, 174th Brigade RFA. Sadly, Roy was killed. Uh, his brother remembered that for the rest of his life because when he went back to Jamaica after the war he became the Prime Minister and it's said he wore a black tie for the rest of his life to remember his brother Roy and that's quite fitting I think. I lined up with veterans and soldiers beaming with pride. I wasn't planting a reef on an unknown soldier's grave. I was honouring a fellow gunner from my Royal Artillery family.